all. I've been seeing so many faces tonight that I haven't seen in so long. Um, it makes me really happy. Um, and also, I just want to say, those of you who remember the last time we did this in 2019, and as we sat here, this horrible snowstorm descended, <laughs> and the lake slowly vanished completely. Um, and we're having the opposite of, oops, not good, we're having the opposite effect tonight, which I think is the perfect way to reconvene and, and do this again. Um, so, one thing you might notice as I introduce tonight's artists is that all of them are local, meaning Chicago, Chicago area. Um, we did that for pragmatic reasons. It is an uncertain year. We didn't want to be flying people in, um, putting them, you know, who knows what cancellations would have happened. People would have felt comfortable with that. But we have this embarrassment of riches here in the city. Um, one of the reasons we have an embarrassment of riches is that I believe for a long time that Chicago, at least right now, is the best city in which to be a working author or artist. It really, really is. Um, I have artists and writer friends all over the country. There are some other good, Boston's pretty good, Minneapolis is pretty good, they're fine. Um, but in Chicago, the support that we have for the arts, whether it's institutional, we have an enormous number of independent bookstores, for instance, of which, one of which, Lake Forest Bookstore, is the other side of books. Um, we have independent presses for, and in journals in terms of literature. We have an incredible storefront uh, theater scene. It's really different for theater than any other city in the country, um, in addition to our big, you know, the good news of the world. Um, we have incredible galleries, large and small, for the visual arts. We have, you know, an inc the history of music in this city, I don't need to tell you, right, is, is phenomenal, and the support for that ongoing. Um, one of the institutions that really helps Chicago artists work is Ravdale. Um, we're not in the city. There are not quite enough artists in the city who know about Ravdale, which is something we're definitely working to change, just, you know, for that for some people in the city, Lake Forest might as well be the moon. And <laughs> one of the reasons we're, we're working to get more programming in the city and, and reach more communities. Um, so it's not just a self-selection, but us finding people. Um, Randall, if you've been dragged here by someone and you don't know what's going on, um, or if you kind of know but you don't fully understand, um, Randall, like other artists' communities, just uh, uh, very briefly, the, the first artists' residencies really started in the U.S. in the 1920s. Um, Ragdale wasn't one until 60 years later, uh, but right around the time that we kind of changed from a patronage model of the arts to more of institutional support for the arts was when these, the first artist colonies sprang up, um, largely in the Northeast. And Ragdale was the first and is certainly the you know, largest, most well-respected in the Midwest. Um, so Ragdale, if you, if you don't get it, you can think of it as an incubator for the arts. It's a place where, you know, all of us have plenty of opportunities to support artists once their work is in the world. You can buy a painting, you can go to a gallery, you can go to a concert, you can buy a book, you can join a book club. Um, but supporting Ragdale is a way to support these artists as they are making their work. When they need time and space, maybe they need studio space, maybe they need to meet a collaborator that they never knew existed. Maybe they just need time away from young children, which is certainly a role Ragdale has played in my own life. Um, and you are investing in these artists and their work before it is fully formed, which is really, um, in many ways, I'm not going to say it's more important than supporting art once it's out in the world, but it's definitely not something everyone understands. It's definitely not something everyone gets to do. So by being in this room, that's really what you're doing, and we're hugely appreciative of that. So thank you, all of you, for being here. Um, I am going to introduce these incredible, um, I'm not going to call them all authors, although everyone here is attached to a book. I'm going to say artists, and you'll see why. Um, some of them have Ragdale connections. They've already been to Ragdale, maybe in, in some cases um, quite early in their career, started their work at Ragdale. Others um, have maybe not yet been, or they, their lunch that we had today there was their very first time on campus. Um, but one of the great things about everyone's participation in Novel Affair is that they all are given a residency uh, for some time in the next couple of years. 
So these are all local uh, artists who are among the many, many working artists in Chicago uh, that we are absolutely thrilled to support. And I'm just going to introduce them one by one, and they're going to come up and talk a little bit about their work. And then, as you, I think you know, when we're done, uh, we'll do more cocktail partying, and they'll be, all be in that back room to sign books, uh, which is a great way to further support their work and get to meet them one on one.